we're going to take a look at logos and see what else we can do with regards to customizing the look and feel of your new Safari. The logo feature essentially amounts to the ability to upload in a standard graphic in a standard computer graphic form to show in the upper left hand side of your screen to the left of your location name. In order to upload a logo, all you need to do is log in to Safari or Web Safari with the administrative or other level 8 full access account. Go into setup, use the upload button in the appearance section of the setup. When you click on upload, you will get a standard drop down. I'm going to choose Orb Too Big. Now, the file is about 100 pixels in length and width. Notice what has happened. I get a little graphic uh, placeholder. In this case, this is an indicator to you that the graphic that you're using is not going to be displayed if you try to save your configuration in the current state. So, let's do that. If we save and notice that you do not get your graphic. You get the graphic placeholder and your location name moves to the right to make room for that placeholder. Okay, so we know with this that 100 pixels is too large. Let's try it again. Now, I have another orb and look what happens. The orb, which is 60 by 60 pixels, shows up. Let's go ahead and save, and indeed we can see that the orb does show up. Now, let's look a little further. I made another graphic called Home of the Raptors. In the interest of school spirit, you may want to have something that is a little bit more... <laughs> outspoken I guess. This graphic is approximately 700 pixels in width and about 60 pixels in height. You will see that my the location name still shows up to the right and this should give you an idea of what kind of leeway you have regards to how big or how small or how long. So generally somewhere around 60 pixels and whatever the length of your screen is minus what is taken up by your location name is what you have with regards to adding a graphic to your Safari background. We'll have a look at the final my final graphic combines both the orb and the text I think it looks quite nice. That's it for logos.